My friends, it's a pleasure to be back in Cambridge to celebrate some great news for the people of Ontario and for all Canadians. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the future of Canada's auto sector in recent years. It's no secret that the industry has gone through a great deal of change. Advances in technology, coupled with a globalized economy, have caused some sometimes painful disruptions. Some workers lost their jobs, while others had to relocate to keep theirs. C'est quelque chose que j'entends souvent, non seulement dans le sud de l'Ontario, mais partout au Canada. Les dernières années ont été difficiles, mais les activités reprennent maintenant. Parce que vous savez, les entreprises et les travailleurs canadiens sont résilients. Ils n'ont pas perdu espoir pendant cette période difficile. Ils ont continué à travailler fort et à saisir des occasions d'appliquer leur expertise. Notre gouvernement, pour notre part, on est aussi passé à l'action. En 2017, nous avons lancé le Fonds stratégique pour l'innovation, un programme de 1,26 milliards de dollars visant à appuyer la recherche et le développement, à stimuler l'innovation et à attirer des investissements qui créent des bons emplois pour la classe moyenne. C'est grâce à des initiatives comme celle-ci que le Canada s'est taillé une place sur la scène internationale en tant que chef de file de l'innovation. Our government also stood up for Canadian interests on the world stage. We promoted Canadian industry and talent every chance we had, including at the negotiating table. Just recently, we concluded the comprehensive and progressive agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. The agreement will generate significant economic benefits for Canada, including access to Japan and other fast-growing markets across a wide range of economic sectors. Agreements like this one are key to creating good, well-paying jobs for the middle class and for people working hard to join it, not only today, but well into the future. These measures support Canada's competitiveness and build our capacity to do the kind of advanced automotive research and production that companies like Toyota want to do more of. Canadians and their government did their part. And now it's clear that companies like Toyota are also ready to do theirs. Today, Toyota is announcing a $1.4 billion investment in its Cambridge and Woodstock plants. And to support this investment, the Government of Canada will be contributing $110 million in partnership with the Government of Ontario, which will match our investment. And that's such good news, I'm going to repeat it in French. Aujourd'hui, Toyota annonce un investissement de 1.4 milliard de dollars dans ses usines de Cambridge et de Woodstock. Le gouvernement du Canada versera une somme de 110 millions de dollars à l'appui de cet investissement. Il s'agit d'un partenariat avec le gouvernement de l'Ontario qui fera une contribution égale à la nôtre. Together, these funds will help secure more than 8,000 jobs and create 450 new jobs and 1,000 new co-op placements and make Canada the largest producer of Toyota hybrid vehicles in North America. These vehicles will be significantly more fuel efficient and improvements within the manufacturing process will reduce volatile organic compound emissions in select shops by 10%. Toyota will also increase its research and development investments in Canada by $200 million. This commitment to R&D and technologically advanced vehicle production is tremendous news for Southern Ontario's long-term economic success. It'll solidify a supply chain of 60-plus Canadian companies and position Canada to establish a hybrid ecosystem. Today's announcement will bring Toyota's most advanced manufacturing capabilities to our communities and help keep our auto sector and the 500,000 Canadians it employs globally competitive. Toyota comprends que le Canada est le bon endroit pour étendre la portée de ses activités. 
Nous sommes dotés d'une main dœuvre très instruite et d'un réseau de PME spécialisés dans les technologies propres qui continuent de grandir. En choisissant le Canada, Toyota confirme l'ingéonisité et le potentiel immense des Canadiens. C'est la preuve que le Canada est une destination de choix pour investir. This landmark investment is proof that our plan to grow the economy and create better opportunities for Canadians is working. This is a great day for the auto sector, for Ontarians, for Canadians and for Toyota.